Dear friends, this is God's servant, Morris Rule. I'm talking to you live on the Facebook, on the internet. I am so filled with gratitude to God. As I stand here, I am the product of one of the greatest miracles of our 20th century. In a few moments, I'm going to board our plane behind me, and I'm going on my first missionary journey that I have been ministering with for the past 70 years, but the first one now in over 10 months. You say, what's been wrong, Brother Srilo? Well, I have come to you on television I have shared with you, I have been bedfast, I have been confined to my house, I have been unable to travel, and most of all, as a result of being three times in the hospital with the illness that I'm going to describe to you, People like you, oh, I love you so much. You have prayed for God's servant. Never in the history of my 70 years of ministry reaching millions of people have I ever appreciated the prayers of God's people. Well, my leg here was filled with vasculitis. I wanted you to see the picture of my foot right now. And then the doctors couldn't do anything because vasculitis is incurable. And my flesh was being eaten away until you can see the picture, one great big hole. Well, I'm happy to tell you, I can walk. I am happy to tell you that God has given to me an incredible miracle. I'm happy to tell you your prayers have been answered, and the God you serve is a prayer answering God. And maybe today, as I share with you how God healed my leg, how God gives me the ability to walk now when I could not walk one, well, maybe 10 days ago, I was totally crippled. I laid, some of my friends are here. I laid on a chair, a wheelchair, cried myself with strong tears because I was unable to walk. And then, the heavenly presence of God came, showered me with that presence, and God healed my leg. Well, as you can see, now I can walk. Praise God. And I don't need this. I don't need any apparatuses. I don't need a wheelchair, don't need a cane. I can stand. I'm 
you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you for those of you that have prayed. And before I board our plane, the front line of what you see behind me, I'm wanting to reach out. I want God to give you a miracle like he gave me a miracle. I'm leaving for an incredible missionary trip. I'm going first from here to Panama. We'll minister in Panama. Then from there to Brazil. I'll minister for days in Brazil. And then on the way back, we'll stop in Quito, Ecuador, and I'll minister there. And then back to San Diego. We could not do, I could not do this one week ago. I was incapacitated. I was a cripple in a wheelchair. I wanted to come to you. I wanted to let you know how God answered our prayers. And then I wanted to let you know how I need your prayers. And I need your support as I go back now to the nations of the world to reach the multitudes for Christ. Now, Lord, I ask you, for those that are watching and those that are participating in hearing this great news, give them the strength to reach out to you and to God's servant. Right now, I ask you for the greatest miracle in the world. First, for the healing of their souls, and then for the healing they need in their physical bodies. And lastly, open the windows of heaven. Pour out your blessing upon them. We'll be together on this Facebook and internet. I'm coming as soon as I get back from Brazil to be with you permanently and minister to you the miracle working power of God. Now, before I leave, I have a very special gift I want to give to you. We're living in a crisis right now. I prophesied this crisis. A worldwide financial crisis is here. Are you prepared? But I answer how to prosper in the current financial crisis. Would you like me to send you this incredible revelation? I will do it because I love you. All I'm asking you is for you to send a gift of support to help God's servant continue to go to the nations of the world. And when you do, this will be my lovely gift to you. God bless you.